If you've ever tried to sort your flashcards by numerical tags, you may have seen something that looks a lot like this. The order is completely unintuitive and it makes me sad. This is happening because Anki sorts numbers and letters lexicographically, which means that it handles it kind of like a dictionary. So it sorts by the first letter or number that it encounters. And thus, when it encounters two numbers, say for example, the number 10 and the number nine, it actually ranks the number nine as being a higher number or coming sequentially after number 10 because it's comparing the first number that it's encountering, the one versus the nine. It turns out there's a really simple way to fix this um, thanks to a old forum post from 2021 from uh, old Grant Dominion, is he? We learned that all we need to do is add leading zeros before the numbers that we're using. And if you're trying to sort your cards based off of a known finite number, say the number of textbook chapters or number of lessons in a semester, or for me, in my example, I have a specific number of cases in each of these textbooks that I'm reviewing. So if you know the highest order digit that you're going to need, you can add the requisite number of leading zeros and that will fix your sorting issue. And this is really helpful information to know if you're just getting started making your flashcards. But what if you've already made several hundred flashcards? Does this mean you have to update them one by one manually by hand, like a noob? No, it's 2024, baby. We got toilets that wipe your own butt for you. I'm gonna show you how to use a very simple Python script to go ahead and search all of your pre-existing tags, change the numbering scheme so that you can sort by tags and not have it look like a nightmare. So in order for this to work, you're actually gonna to need to have Python downloaded to your computer as well as a simple code editor so that you can run simple scripts from a console. I've got links to both of these things in the video description or you can also find the links to them on my webpage where I have this script also linked in the video description. And it's super easy to get these things set up. All you have to do is follow the links, download the most current version, and then follow all of the setup prompts and you'll be up and running in minutes. Once you've got Python and the code editor downloaded, all you need to do is head back to Anki, find the deck that you wanna work with, and then on this, click on this little gear icon over here to the right hand side, click on export, and then we're gonna change the export format. We want this to be notes in plain text. What that's gonna do is export all of your flashcards in a tab delimited text file, which we can then use with our script to be able to find all of the tags, make the changes we need, and then re-upload it to Anki so that we can update all of the flashcards we have. My flashcards have HTML and media references, so I wanna make sure that this is checked. And then you're gonna to wanna to save your flashcard deck somewhere that's easy for you to find. All right, so once that's saved, the next step we're gonna do is open up our code editor and then click new. We can get rid of this text. And then I have a link in the video description to my website where I have this script prepared for you. And then if you hover over the right upper hand corner, you can click copy. That'll copy all of the script, go back to your code editor and paste it in. Now this script is written with a bunch of instructions kind of detailing how the script works, what the different parts of the script are doing in case you're interested. But I also tried to make it very obvious in the locations that you need to make changes to be able to tailor it to your specific needs. So to be able to put the exact text that the script is looking for and what it'll find in your tags. So the first area you'll see here is on line 14. This is where you'll need to change to whatever text is present in your tags. For me, it looks like this, peds underscore case underscore. This little part here is just telling the text that following peds underscore case underscore, there's gonna be some number and it's gonna be one or more digits. So that'll just help it to be able to recognize that and also capture the numbers. The next area you're gonna to need to make changes is down here on line 21. And you'll see another indicator here of change this. So what we need to change here is we need to change the text just as we did above. And now you'll see that the integer or the number portion is, it looks a little bit different. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna go through, find all of the tags that you use to number your cards, and it's going to update the numbers and change it from either the single or double digit to a full three digit number. In my case, I only go up to 200 cases, so I just need three digits. If, for example, you had flashcards that numbered up to four digits, um, like in the thousands, then all you would need to do is to change this number three here to four, 
and then that'll go ahead and change all of your flashcards to a four digit number. And that's just gonna add the leading zeros so that when it sorts lexicographically, it's gonna sort them in a way that is intuitive to human understanding. I just need three though, so I'm gonna go ahead and change that back to three. And the last place to make a change is down here on line 33. So this is where you're gonna copy the path to your flashcard text file. So go ahead and find your text file where you saved it with all of your flashcards, here's mine. Go ahead and right click, and if you click copy as path, it'll copy the path to this file and make it super easy for the script to find it. And then come back to your script in your code editor, and on line 33, we're going to highlight this name here, because this is a nonsense name, just an example. And then uh, we're gonna paste in the actual path to our text file. This little R here is important. If you have any of these backslashes in your, um, in your path, for it to be able to accurately find and process this path, it needs to have this little R. That'll just, that is just kind of a syntax thing. You'll need to have that there. And I should add, if you have any issues with this script, um, rather than asking me what's going on, you should probably just ask ChatGPT because that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so those three things are really the only three things we need to change in this script and we're gonna be ready to run it. So, but before we can run it, we need to save this. So we're gonna save our script. I'm just gonna call it tag update and save and now we're ready to run so i'm going to go ahead up here and click on run and if it's working and you're using the same code editor that i'm using you'll see these three arrows here that means that we have achieved success all right so now i just need to find my output file and it's going to be a text file here this one now i'm going to open up anki and all i need to do is drag this file into Anki, and then it'll bring up this import file prompt window. All right, so there's a few things we need to check before we're ready to import these flashcards. The first thing is to check this field separator and make sure that it says tab. Now this is grayed out for me. I can't change it, it's appropriate. So hopefully that's the same for you. Now we're gonna scroll down to the import options. We're gonna make sure that the note type is correct. So this is the correct note type that I use for this deck. We're also gonna make sure that the deck is appropriate. So this is where I want these flashcards to go. Under the existing notes field, I want to select update. So you have a couple different options. I want update because I want to update the cards that I already have in this deck. And I don't wanna screw with all of the sorting and I don't want to create duplicates. I just want to take the cards I have, change the tags and be able to keep using them without any issue. And similarly, under the match scope, we need to make sure that this is note type and deck, what this is gonna do is make sure that it's only updating the flashcards that match this note type and that are found within the deck that we're telling it to look. This is important if you have other flashcards in other decks that might have similar contents or might have closed deletions that contain this, the same words. Like if you're trying to test the same concept in multiple ways, this will make sure that it keeps those flashcards separate and doesn't update the cards that you don't want it to. And we also have the option to add another tag to all of the flashcards that we're going to update. Um, I don't really wanna do that, so I'm gonna leave that blank. And the last thing to check here is our field mapping. This is just making sure that all of the information is mapping to the correct fields and that it's not getting jumbled up. And it looks like all of this is exactly how I want it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and click import. All right, so now we're gonna check and see if this works. Go ahead and click on the deck and then you can click browse it'll pull up that deck and our numbers are in the correct order. I know that this is not going to appeal to the masses, but if you're out there and you've been looking for this answer, enjoy. <laughs>